stage a UFC heavyweight showdown. Here he is, the decorated kickboxer, back for more here tonight. And he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out. But he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, com he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponent on their turn. He's doing it on his turn. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker. One of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Chief. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Don! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon! All right, grip the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. When you're a striker and this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this jumper. Big clutch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Unable to land with that punch. Right hand on point. Big power shot there. Just unable to quite find that range. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. 
That right hand hurt him a little bit. Out of range with that kick attempt. He loaded up there on that high kick. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Now connects with a right. Beautiful body kick. Feel good. Oh, straight right. <laughs> Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Oh, huge block. It's very tricky to throw that body kick. He is all about that left kick to the body. Oh, nice jab there. He told us on Thursday he wanted to break this dude's nose. That is certainly a step in the right direction. Mission accomplished. Ah. You are battering that nose. Over and over, he's landing a big body kick. The horn sounds for the end of round one. Right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC. And uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding. And look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel. He's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, second round is underway. Your thoughts on what we saw over the first five minutes? I saw a very competitive round. It was very strategic. Expect these guys to really pick it up as we go forward in this fight. Nice punch land over the top. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. This fight's gonna be over this season. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent, thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very bad. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. And back to his feet. Misses again with a right punch. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Look at him drive his shin into his own body with that body kick. Back and forth. quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. All right, side control now. All right, trying to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. Under a minute to go. Five 
seconds remain in the round. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defensive. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Final seconds here of round two. Oh, massive. And what a round. Let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went headhunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. All right, here we go with the start of another round. Pretty good previous two rounds, I thought. Yeah, it's been a very competitive fight to this point. Both guys have had their moments, especially in these last two rounds. We expect somebody to get ahead, but they've both been so evenly matched. We're still right where we started. Oh, man, look what that one body shot did. That shows you the power, and the power in the placement. It was placed perfectly, and now he's got it to deliver. Well-placed kick there by Lee. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's all... Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now, because he's got his opponent very bad. Wow. He's done, he's done. What a performance. You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're gonna get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moment, you gotta show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. With that, we now go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliani has called a stop for this contest at one minute, seven seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Dawn! All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of